Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you are seeing this, know that I appreciate you. Whether it is right now in the live, good morning, or later uh, in the replay, good afternoon, good evening. It is I, Coach J, also known as Jatan Robinson, and I am here with you today for day four of the No Fear 7-Day Prayer Challenge. Today is April 29th of 2020. And um, if you have not watched uh, days one through three, please go back and do that. What I will try to do, or what I have tried to do is pin the current prayer uh, or the current day at the top of the page. So today you will see day four first, but days one through three should not be far behind. Um, and if you would like, you can also go to my YouTube channel. Um, it's YouTube uh, backslash Jatana Robinson, I believe. Uh, and you will see the videos there. And then I'm also going to post them at some point today on my uh, website at jatonrobinson.com. So that way you'll be able to see uh, what you've missed uh, days one through three um, there as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. And today I have two scriptures for you. And I don't know why this first scripture was not a part of the prayer but I'm making sure that it is now and ironically it showed up in my morning devotional um, so the first scripture is from Psalm and it simply says when I am afraid I put my trust in you and that is Psalm 56 and 3 and as I said that showed up today in my devotional um, I don't know why I did not come across it uh, while I was studying for this, but I'm glad that it showed up today. Now, the second scripture is Psalm 121 verses 1 through 8, and it states, states, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forever. Amen. Uh, and today's um it's entitled, He is Always Watching Over Us. I thought that title was so appropriate for this particular scripture. Uh, Psalm 121 verses 1 through 8. He is always watching over us. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. I love this verse because it lets me know that no matter what is going on in my life, no matter um what may be happening to me whether good or bad i know that the lord is watching i know that the lord is keeping i know that the lord is at hand and i am always covered by him so now let's go ahead with the prayer father you are so helpful towards your children and watch watchful over us at all times Lord, we are thankful that you never sleep on us, that you, that we never have to coax you awake to care for us or just to listen to our hearts and the concerns of them. Father, we thank you for your covering, for your protection, and we ask that you continue to cover us, that you continue to guide us daily. In the name of your son, Jesus, I pray. Amen. So that is it for today. Today's day four of the No Fear 7-Day Prayer Challenge. Again, if you are in need of some form of counsel uh, for your fear, for your anxiety, for your stress, remember that I am a certified spiritual life coach as well as a certified um, grief counselor as well as a certified CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, practitioner. And for those who are wondering what CBT is, it basically, in simple terms, gets to the root of your issue, gets to the root of your situation. And then we work through figuring out how to dig that root out and eliminate it so that we are able to better work through life, better cope with life, have put into effect other mechanisms for getting through life daily. 
So that is all for now. Peace and blessings. Remember to walk in your purpose and know that I appreciate you. Prayerfully, I will see you tomorrow for day five of the No Day, No Fear 7-Day Prayer Challenge.